What is up, everybody? I'm going to go and get started momentarily and say hi in the chat. I'll try to say hi as well. And uh, this is kind of a, a more relaxed live stream. Maybe I'll just go 30 to 45 minutes today and I'll explain the typing test in a second. Just kind of bored of doing the same old thing. Hello, what's up? A night. Kendrip. I am love. Okay, awesome. Salmon. Salmon. How's it going, everybody? Muhammad. New Age Edit. Omar. Salams. What about the negative space? We're going to do that except only paid chats this time. And yeah, so. Roberto, Khalid, what's up? Kendrip, I'm only doing reviews for uh, Super Chats. Yeah, well, and that's what they mainly are anyways, and I'm probably not going to be doing them for as long today. I'm not really feeling too much like uh, live streaming, but I figure I would anyhow. Who's messaging me? Oh. My stream seems to be a bit broken. Great, awesome, love hearing that. How is my stream broken? Is everything fine with my stream right now or is it not? Okay, good, it's not. All right, so Basically, I another YouTuber was just live. Um, his name's Decode right here, and he has like 30,000 subscribers, and he was just live saying how fast he can type, and he's doing this speed typing test right here, um, and we were going back and forth. I was in the chat seeing what I got, and then like we were feeding off of each other because he got like 411, then I got like a, a little bit higher, then... I got a little bit higher, then he got a little bit higher, then I got, I finally got to like 528 words per minute or whatever, or CPM, and then he got something like uh, 535, and then after his stream ended, I tried it again, I got 564, but that doesn't really count because I don't have everybody watching me yet, so I'm going to try to take this little speed type test just for the fun of it, and I'm probably going to do horrible because I'm going to be all like nervous and stuff, um, so... Um, what we're going to do is try that out maybe a couple times, just just for the fun of it. Uh, and then maybe I'll get to some UI UX reviews. You guys can let me know. You can take the same test. Uh, let me paste it here. Yeah, so you guys could take that same test. Let me know what you get here um, in the comments. And uh, taking these speed tests, I'm telling you, like, I get like anxiety like when I'm doing it because I, I barely breathe and I'm trying to go so fast. I don't know. Probably, probably not a good thing for an old man like myself. Probably have a heart attack or something. All right. So let's see here. Let us refresh. And so basically it says type the words here. Here's the, what you need to type. And you just start typing. That's what starts it um, the first time. Hey, what's up, Decode? He's in the chat. <laughs> Ooh, okay. All right. Here I go. Three. My hands, they're sweating already. This is horrible. This is going to be, I'm going to get like 300 probably. All right. One, two, three. Ah! 
What am I doing? Ah, oh, man. Yeah, I wasn't relaxed like I was before, so I got 465. That, that's still not bad for a first try. People are watching me. Dang it. Oh. See, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, what are these people thinking if I screw up? And then I screw up because of it. It's like a, it's like a mind warp. It's like a mind F, if you know what I mean. Uh, what did other people get? I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys uh, give it a shot yourselves. <laughs> 173. 173. I've been I, I've been typing forever, you know. I'm 37, and I've been on the computer since I was like 11 or something. So, um, yeah. So anyhow, I'm gonna give it maybe another shot, and then we'll get to to reviewing sites and you know just hanging out. Maybe you guys, if you want to ask questions, we can do uh, Q and A type thing. I'm not really interested in just doing website reviews the whole time like usual so anyhow yeah that's not bad JVS 522 All right, let's uh, I'm gonna try it again, maybe just one more time. See, I find myself, I, I, I don't wanna talk while I'm doing it because I'm gonna throw myself off. Still no margaritas for you. You, you know what, I've, I've been drinking a little bit too much lately. I need to like tone it down a bit. Oh, I still type with two fingers. <laughs> All right, let's refresh this. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Uh. Uh, four ninety nine, a little bit like my hands, they're just not working correctly. All right, I'm, I'm done with that. Enough of that. I guess I couldn't get above 500 while live. All right. So anyhow, let's, let's drop this back a little bit. There we go. Thank you for not reviewing my project. <laughs> Did somebody send in a super chat or something? Let's see here. Um, they have this new uh, interface, and I'm not used to, like, yeah, okay, well, chat revenue, dash. I guess that means a big old zero. All right. All right. Uh, somebody said new Shopify video. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think about how I might want, might want to revamp that because the plan kind of fell through because I, I realized I can't sell that wood. It's like a million dollars to freaking ship that wood that I was going to sell. So I, I'm that's up in the air right now, unfortunately. Um So, <laughs> yeah, you're right, Big Don. All right, so let's uh, let's come out here. What am I doing? Where's my Discord? Uh, let's get out of there. All right, so let's open up the negative space submissions. I'm going to go to channel. Uh, where am I going to? Permissions. 
We'll save that. Now you guys can go ahead and submit your entries for review. We'll do a few of them. Um, like, like I said, if you want to do um, a super chat, they'll put you to the very beginning of the line. Account has been archived. I don't, well, okay, he deleted it, I guess. All right, let's check out some um, UI UX reviews. Oh, by the way, before I do this, something very exciting is designcourse.com is being relaunched soon. I've And each of the courses that I release are going to be for 100% real clients, all right? So each, client, each course is one project for one real client. And it could be like one, like I have two of them that I'm doing now. One is an identity design project for uh, a company. And then another one is a strictly a UI UX design for a landing page and a sub page from a website, basically. Um, that's exciting because then I'll be able to record the Skype conversations, how to communicate with a client, and then also show the full process of whatever, pro whatever the project involves. Um, dealing with the client communication in terms of like revision requests and all that. Um, and so each one, each course will be you know quite cheap, um, but there's gonna be a bunch of them. And then you can just add them each to the cart and purchase them one time fee for initially. And I'm, I'm not gonna do like, you know, a monthly thing when I don't have enough courses yet. So I think that'll be exciting. Um, uh, let's see here. All right, we're already getting a bunch. All right. All right, so cool. Let's check this one out. There was some initial loading. All right. This one, call to action button. Kind of hard to see the hire me text because it's on a very light uh, background there. Um, this right here is extraordinary. Uh, that's that's no good because uh, that that the whole color that this right here does not uh, contrast well with the background. So I want to do that crazy rainbow situation. Um, the big thick borders, kind of not a fan because this one's like only going here and then these were in the middle. Um, so I try to structure things more. It's a, look at this lack of white space right here, big time. Uh, and it just feels like a jumbled mess in a sense. So uh, you'd be definitely somebody you can take advantage of my uh, UI design course, both on YouTube. There's, I have like several of them here that are free and also at scrimba.com. All right. I guess we'll do the rating thing. You guys want to rate? One being the worst, 10 being the best. Go ahead and do it. Normally I'd be drinking water, but I don't have any water. Boy, views are so down right now. Like across my channel, like views are down 15 to 20%. And even like the uh, views right here, are like 127 people watching, that's like nothing. Usually it's like a 300. What the hell's happening here? All right. I, yeah, for this one, I'm going to have to say something like a, let's see here. Yeah. Uh, I'll say for this one, probably like a 4.8, something like that. I think that's pretty fair. All right. Next up. Damn, Jesus, look at all these. All right. We got a Figma. All right, let's see here. I want to scale this down possibly. It's kind of big. Let's see. All right, so looking at this section at least, it looks like this part create an online store, like the headline and the call to action needs to be down centered vertically more because it's a little bit up to the top with not, and then there's like an unnecessary amount of white space here. So move that down, just push it, position those two elements vertically centered there. Um, then, yeah, this part's not too bad up here. This part, the type needs work. Um, this should probably be a little bit smaller, a little bit more line height between them and push the get started button down. Same thing here, same thing here, because there's not enough visual hierarchy between these two types of text, two bits of text. They're like, uh, 
they are i mean this one's larger and bold but only slightly so make this a lot smaller all right what do you guys think this person should get for a writing one worst 10 best yeah the font itself probably could be changed too i mean for the headings it doesn't seem too bad but the actual uh, paragraphs Uh, okay, so some people are saying seven, six. You know what? I think this is going to be a 6.3. Yeah, 6.3. Next up, Calf Coffee. This looks like an interesting layout. Let's refresh because it did have some uh, animation. That's interesting. What happened there? <laughs> that thing just hangs up there, but once you come down, it just randomly falls. What's that? It won't do it again. Oh, wait, there it goes. Maybe it's not based on scroll. Okay. You love coffee. So do we. I kind of like it. I like that. Um, I like the tight or the headline. Um, definitely an interesting layout. The colors work well together. But it's real, I mean, this is a real, like, kind of a blocky, experimental sort of layout. Um, I would say almost, there's too much of a discrepancy between these two type, bits of text, I would say. I would probably make this a little bit larger or scale this down just slightly. Um, I would make this text come in sooner because initially I was coming all the way down here and there was nothing and then finally it came in. So just change the scroll position at which this stuff comes in here. This one's pretty good. It'd be nice to see like some photographs or something like accompanying this text because what I see here is like a pattern where you have a headline and then maybe two, two, pair, two sentences and then that's it. It's like, I wanna, I wanna learn more a little bit more or see a little bit more for each section of content outside of that this is pretty solid though move the email thing probably closer to this part uh to the actual text field but good good call to action here yeah overall not too bad what do you guys think one being the worst ten being the best I'm not only checking websites from Super Chats because nobody's sending in a damn Super Chat. So, all right. Uh, for this one, I'm going to say 7.8. I think that's pretty fair. Best one so far. All right, Google.com. Let's check out Google.com. Let us rate Google.com. All right, so we have this massive empty space here. I don't like that one bit. I think it should be centered vertically, personally, this this you know this entire section. Um, everything's kind of squashed. Oh wait, let me reset this. Okay, look at this. This is ter this is her horrible. What are, what are they thinking? <laughs> What's going on with this uh, little slider right here? I hit play. All right, so it automatically scales it up. I don't like how close these icons are to it, though. And the fact that this area, this uh, the actual search input, is also very close when he has this amount of vertical sp or this amount of white space that we can deal with. Yeah, this is the official uh, Google.com right here, man. So if I refresh this, this is what it looks like by default. I'm not a fan of this. So here's the actual results. Everything seems a little bit too small, so I have to scale it up just to see it a little bit better. That's why it was scaled up uh, by default. 
but really looking at the this page yeah, I think we can definitely have a lot of improvement so what do you guys think this one should get for a rating one being the worst and ten being the best well as far as like there should be labels I think if anybody can get away with not having labels it's googled because everybody knows Google like they know that's this is the iconic search bar Plus, there's a search icon here, so I don't think you necessarily need a label right here. Everybody's saying 2.574356. I, uh, I mean, judging by on this page alone, I'm gonna have to give this. Uh, I'm gonna give it a five. All right. Good luck, whoever is designing at Google. You'll definitely improve. Just watch my course. <laughs> I love it. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's check out Bing. Let's check out the other search engines, because now I'm curious. Okay. I definitely like their overall search. By position better and just the overall layout. Like if we go back to Google.com. Oh crap! Why do they have to do that? Screw you, Google. You just like showed all my fucking email. Um. Oh my God! It's doing it again. It's like I type Google.com and it, te it takes me to Mail.Google. Seriously? What am I? Sp Jesus Christ! All right, there we go. All right, uh, yeah, so comparing these two, I like being much better personally. Yeah, I do. I mean, Google's going for the ultra simplistic route, so they don't have this here, like the photograph. Uh, but I kind of like, like the overall, just the, the UI design fundamentals. If we're not talking about UX, but the UI, I like Bing's better. All right, let's check somebody else. Jan Nicholas. Refresh. We have some initial. All right, so we definitely want to work on the type between these two elements. Let me do that for you. So this, I think we can just, we can really take the font size He's using pixels, so. One point seven M units. Um, the developer. Let's go ahead and take that. Let's do a margin bottom of like. No. And let's change the actual. Okay, developer. What what would I put here? I just don't want to put developer. I'm gonna think of something a little bit more interesting, possibly. Um, I develop awesome experiences, <laughs> something like that. And then, like underneath it, you can put you know web developer in very small type. I. Uh, so for instance, if I take uh, and I I pasted that. Where are we at in here? And I take this specifically. And then we'll do text transform uppercase. Don't worry, it's still not there yet. Um, and we change this to web developer. And perhaps, let's see, let's let's uh, take a margin top. And I'm still trying to figure out. I'm not happy with it yet. Um, we'll take this, Jan Nicholas. 
and I think we'll go even smaller. We'll take this, margin top it a bit. And then maybe finally we'll take this. Sometimes I like adding like a uh, letter spacing, like something like that. And maybe we'll take down um, the color. I don't want to make it green. I'm just giving myself the color picker option. And um, maybe we'll take this background and then bring it up slightly. So we give it a little bit of color there. I like that a lot better. So this is what I came up with. And this is what he had. So I think mine's quite a bit better. Yeah, let me know if you guys agree. Anyhow, um, so you definitely want to fix that. Um, my work, again, so we have a nice kind of scroll to position. It doesn't really feel like a nice layout. It's just kind of thing. It looks like it's a mobile layout that was never adapted for um, desktop. So it's like mobile only, essentially, the way things are laid out here. I'm not a fan of having placeholder values when you already have the labels anyhow and they're self, you know, they're explanatory. So it's like your name, we know the name goes there, your email, you know the email, your message, and then your, we know the message goes there. So I would probably remove that uh, as well. All right, what do you guys think this person should get for a rating? One being the worst, 10 being the best. As it stands, I think I'm gonna put in like a, like around a 4.5, something like that. I guess I'm being a little bit too harsh. I mean, there's not anything horrible happening, so maybe it's a little bit higher than that. Because you could still read what you need to read and access. It's just like ultra simple and there's no semblance of like a, a strong identifiable layout. All right. So let's continue on. I hate reviewing Figma designs and, and prototypes, honestly. I'm starting to not like it. I kind of like doing live projects, but whatever, no big deal. All right, looking at this, um, yeah, I would take this down, the font size right here. Um, things are kind of squashed up. There's not a lot of white space in this area. I would take things down just a tad bit more. Um, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this, like this is gonna be some sort of like scrollable area right here, like a carousel. It seems like it's kind of just a tucked you know, I would really just take it and put it in the center between these two elements if you're going to have something like that. What would be even cooler is like to have like a like a white container that kind of goes into this area. So you can extend these out a little bit further. Uh, let's see here. What else? Again, maybe just smaller font size, more line height between them. It's not bad though in this area. Yeah, overall, not too bad. Just some small things. Uh, the cards would definitely need work. Um, I think there definitely should be more white space. These should be a lot smaller. Keep the container the same size. Um, and then also work on the type a little bit. I mean, you have two different bits of type, but they're not separated enough. One is bold and one's not, but I think this should be smaller, a smaller font size. And overall, more white space inside the container, so that'd be padding. All right, what do you guys think you should get for a rating? One being the worst, 10 being the best.
How long have I been? Oh, I'm half hour already. Somebody said a seven. JVS said a seven. So JVS, you're, you're really rating people quite high. I think, well, it's not that. I wouldn't say that that's high. I'm going to say for this one, what the hell happened? That hit the wrong button. I'm going to say a 6.5. Yeah. All right. Another. This is going to be my last Figma one, I think. All right, so right off the bat, one thing I don't like to see is all that orange type. Anything clickable? No. See, that's why it's kind of annoying. Um, I only have two monitors. I used to use like freaking four. Let's see here. Not too much a fan of this. Uh, you have different sections. You might be worth creating actual containers um, inside of here of different colors to s separate the sections because uh, new user create an account I would probably move this up here personally um, and then move the social links down beneath now what I was talking about with all that orange type like having the, these these headings be orange is fine, but really I would take these two, make them something else, maybe like that. That might be better. Take this, make these bold if possible. I'm sitting here like jacking up his design, but I, well, I mean, allowed me to. So now we have a little bit that be, be, yeah, a little bit better separation. I would also probably take all this stuff and you know push it down away from each other just a little bit more so you give it a little bit more room to breathe in these areas all right overall not too bad though uh, I don't like the hamburger menu that looks very cheap it's like real tall it's not it's not a square um, also the logo and then just this fitness randomly placed right there that's not good so either put it directly underneath it or put it to the right of it all right let me know what you guys think one being the worst ten being the best <laughs> he's using or somebody else is using it right now me for this one I'm gonna have to say something like a six yeah yeah I'd say a six all right I told you this is gonna be a shorter stream so I'm gonna do one more review and so that is a little landing page I made to add to my future portfolio as a web developer all right here we go. You are the last one. Sorry to anybody who was next or thought they were going to get to go. I mean, if you paid me, you could have got to go, but we're too late now. Okay, learn playing piano with our professional teachers. Enter your email and send. Okay. See, I don't know about that. I'm not talking about the design right now. I'm talking about just the 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 the, the offer. I'm not sure if people are just going to send their email put their email in right away when they don't know anything at this point in time in the layout I uh, I think having them enter trying to enter their email right here at the top without providing any more context is probably a bad idea um, out having said that I would probably if you're gonna do this like this uh, bar right here or this input I mean I would make the padding like at least 1.5 rem units um, enter your email of course that's that needs a label or a floating label because it's it's placeholder only so I talk about this all times it's, it's an accessibility thing uh, that you want to correct the send button I don't know I would probably prefer to have the send button over here right aligned 
and make it really stand out a little bit more. Right down here, it, 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 it does stand out okay, but it could be a lot better in my opinion. Cards are okay here. I just think you need more information about what you're offering. Now, of course, it says Lorem Ipsum, so it's not finished. But again, it's not really telling me much about, like it's not giving me more specifics, I should say. All right, so what do you guys think? Oh, and also I didn't even notice the header. It's so like of an afterthought. I think it needs more thickness so it becomes more obvious. And don't, and make it a container. So you can see right here, this one starts here and here. Put your easy piano right here in the same container that's uh, containing these three elements. All right, so what do you guys think? One being the worst, ten being the best. For this one, I'm just going to go ahead. I mean, again, it's just a, it's a flat out sixer <laughs> in my opinion got a lot of sixes to, sixes today all right so we stream for basically 35 minutes i want it to be a shorter stream anyhow um so yeah yes casually plugging super chats we didn't get a single one yeah the the my channel hasn't been doing that well um in the last 30 days but you know what i think this is what happens Pe people start going back to school and, um, and then I just don't pay attention to stats all the way until like January 1st. And then I, I experience a massive bump. Everybody starts watching after the holidays. Uh, so anyhow, thanks for joining. I will see you guys next time. All right, goodbye.